Well, kia ora and no my haere mai, my fellow classmates from Silverstream 1989 to 93. We are still going. We've got a few videos lined up this week and we are at video number 42. 42 as we head towards 50. So well done, fellas. We're, we're, still, uh, we're still steamrolling ahead. Now, our next classmate, I haven't seen in uh, a while, if not since school, so approaching 30 years. Um, and look, I knew him very well, like the rest of you. He was one of our very good, and, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying to see that he was very smart, very intellectual, very bright. We were really fortunate, actually. We had a whole bunch of um, very, very bright guys uh, in our year. But also, too, we got to know this guy a little bit better in our latter years. He was just a hell of a nice guy, a great public speaker that I had the pleasure of uh, either speaking with or against. Um, he, he was a very good speaker, and I'm really looking forward to catching up with his story and just in life in general. So it's time to say kia ora and welcome to your friend and mine, Chris Holland. Kia ora, Chris. Kia ora. Thank you very much for the invite. And like I said before we started recording, thank you for all your hard work. It's um, If this is number 42, so that's you know, more than 40 of these that you, you've made the time with people and, and you've gone through with them. So thank you very much for that. You're more than welcome. And thanks again, Chris, for um, coming on. And look, I know the guys will be really keen just to catch up with you, see how you've been and, and seeing what you've been doing um, for all these years. So look, let's take it back to the beginning at Stream when, when you first started, of course, in 1989. So tell us a little bit about what brought you to school, to Silver Stream. Um, how many years you ended up doing, and and can mm -hmm. you remember your sort of the first time you you stepped into the um in, in, into the boarding house? Can can you remember that? Yeah, so um, I am originally from Stratford in Taranaki. Um, so my sister still lives there, a little way up the road in New Plymouth. Um, at the time, um, at that time, uh, my parents were very good friends with um, Ian and Geraldine MacDonald, um, who, were, who were great. And Ian was a great stalwart of the school. And um, he's uh, the, um, the trophy uh, between Silverstream and New Plymouth Boys High is uh, named after Ian. And um, the head boy in our, in our first year at school was, was their youngest, Shane, who you might remember, Absolutely. is head boy when yes. we were in third form. Um, so they did a, um, a bit of a bit of, bit of a recruitment pitch, I, I suppose you could say, about uh, the benefits of the school. And it happened that um, Father Duffy and Father Kennelly, if you can remember them, um, happened to be in the area. So they sort of popped around. And yeah, so one thing led to another. Um, so I was boarding um, for the full five years from 89 to 93. Um, so initially in third form, my recollection was there was about 50 boys on the boarding side of things, and I, I could be mistaken on that, but I do remember um, quite distinctly at seventh form, I'm pretty sure there were just 24 of us because we had six Gregs. We had seven Gregs That's in right. the seventh form, and six of them were boarders. Yeah, I, I remember seeing, I just saw it recently that it must have been in a blue and white or something, but there's a photo of all the Gregs poking yep. their poking their head out from the, the front of a um, of a door. And you're right, we had a lot of Gregs. <laughs> so thinking um, of back to that first year, I suppose the um, first thing, um, Brother Bede, obviously a huge presence. Um, a lot of people have mentioned him. Um, terrific, terrific guy. And uh, funny old thing, um, one of the other people I remember, uh, Jeff Zamey, who um, probably the boarders from our year group would remember better than the day boys, uh, was one of our dorm prefects. And he is now um, head of, uh, uh, head of uh, equities at one of our large broking firms, Craig. So um, in, my, in my current job, so I work for the stock exchange. Um, I see quite a bit of him. Um, he is... Uh, he's uh, lost a lost a bit of hair as we all have, but but otherwise, as soon as I saw the face, I just you know because I don't think well, Zami's not that common a name in New Zealand, but as soon as I saw the face, I, I immediately recognised him. Um, so yeah, so otherwise, just um, yeah, a, a 
quite quite a lot of memories from school. A lot a lot of uh, I think we're very fortunate at school. We there was definitely a, a sort of philosophy of the um, you know the the whole man, not just the the academic, but obviously the the sporting and the cultural activities and so on. Um, so I think we were uh, very fortunate with that, and uh, I think the um, the large majority of the you know um, people I sort of see around, and it's been good seeing the videos and everything. Yeah, I think as as a group of people, we're we're people who are doing useful things and being involved in our communities, and yeah, pretty happy in our own skins for the most part. So yeah, I think the, those sorts of things are pretty good. Uh, probably the most impressive was um, finding out that Sinte is Minister of Health. For Kiribati, which um, you know, ob obviously in the current environment, must be, be a huge responsibility. But no, it's 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 great seeing things like that. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, and yeah, we're all very proud of um, of Sintane, what he's doing for his mm. um, his homeland because um, they need all the help they can get. Yeah, um, big time. Hey, now, okay, well, take us back to ninety four. You did the full five years at Stream. So, what did you do? Right. So, what your first year out of school? What, what did you not go? Um, so I was very dull. Um, I went, um, so I just, I just headed to university and I, I went to Victoria, unlike, um, cause quite a few of the others, probably more, we probably had more guys go to Otago, I think, than the, the other universities. So Victoria, probably a bit dull. Um, uh, but so I was at Victoria from 94 to 98. Um, and since then I've just been working as a lawyer um so that's that's been um obviously mostly here well here in wellington other than um six years in the uk so that was uh 2004 to uh 2009 but other than those six years just um uh based here in wellington wow well chris congratulations on um your academic achievements post school, you were always destined to do something great. Um, in fact, fellas, you, you'd probably no, you would believe actually. Uh, Chris is joining us. He's still in the office in Wellington. So, oh, I don't know. That, that's, that, that's not necessarily doing things great, but, he, that, yeah, but yeah, there but he, we go. Yeah, he, he's still working. But, but it's, it's, it's 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 one of the great things about the old Zoom calls. You know, you, you can just sort of pop in. So, you know, thank you again for um, hooking all of these up. But yeah, no, that's all right. Now, if I remember correctly, um, your father uh, Barry was a, a broadcaster uh, and, and quite a um, famous broadcaster, actually, of, of over the years heard and, um, and read some things about him. Now, is, is um, Dad still with us? And the only reason why I mention this is because you have got that broadcasting voice down to yeah, the well, this this is a funny thing. There's, there's a couple of Barry Hollands around now. I'm afraid um, my father um, passed about 10 years ago. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no. Um, but uh, his his main thing on on that side of things was um, very much the uh, the racing industry. Um, so it had some sort of race race calling and that sort of thing, and a lot of work with the um, judicial system and so on. So of course, obviously, the the school being quite close to Trentham, um, yeah, he's he's often quite down, quite often down in Wellington for uh, racing related events. But um, one of the things he had a particular dislike of driving in Wellington. So his uh, preferred tactic was, um, as, as you know, the James Cook is uh, directly opposite a motorway exit. Um, so he's very fond of the James Cook Hotel um, because if you're visiting Wellington, you literally go straight off the motorway, park your car in the hotel car park, and then you know, you're a master of your own destiny on in a, in a, in a cab or uh, just on foot or whatever. So that was the uh, tactic for someone who did not like driving in Wellington. <laughs> so did, one, did, one of his other little foibles, he um, yeah. very much uh, took the view mobile phones were good for him to call other people on, uh, but not for them to call him. So his preferred tactic was to have his phone constantly switched off and only ever switch it on when he wanted to make a call and then switch it off again immediately afterwards. Classic. Wow. Which which, 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 which I think has uh, it has a certain amount of appeal, but I'm afraid you couldn't get away with it in the modern modern day workplace. But yeah. Tell us about your current job. Um, what exactly do you do and how long have you been doing it? Okay, so I'm coming up for two years in my current job. Um, so I work for NZX. Um, NZX obviously operates the stock exchange. Um, 
and so has a, a regulatory team that's that's concerned with the uh, the rules that uh, listed companies and broking firms have to um, comply with. Um, so I, I've got a um, uh, so, so so my role is is um, concerned with uh, um, issuers or, or participants um, breaking the rules, and then you know there, there's an enforcement process and investigation process and so on. Um, basically, a few years ago, our son thought I tested slides for a living for the council. Um, I often think that would be a lot more fun, but um, it, although it's although it sounds a bit dry, it it, it is quite worthwhile, and I, I do um, I, I do enjoy doing it. But it's not yeah. as cool as testing slides for the council. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, and, and you you enjoy your job, yeah? Obviously, you yes, are. thank you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Hey, well, just out of interest, I mean, I don't know too much about the NZX apart from the um, yeah. I'm not sure what you call it, the ticker tape or the electronic uh, yeah. thing you see outside the building. How, how many people do they have on staff there? Um, so about a hundred people in the Wellington office. Oh, wow. um, so so the company's about oh goodness about one hundred and six about one hundred and eighty people all up. Um, but the other connection with Silverstream is our chief executive is um, trying to get, of course, our, our business uh, business success Jamie uh, get him to uh, list his company, and we are. In fact, I think he has St John's as well as Max. So so actually, our our we we are between two bars. One of which I know is, is part of Jamie's company. I'm not sure about the other ones, St. John's. I think there may be as well, but it is a it, it is a terrific place to to, to have your office. Um, <laughs> nice harbour views and and between two bars, so you know, um, yeah. no complaints there from the staff. Yeah, I bet, I bet, I know exactly where you are. And um, yes, because ja Jamie's head office is right next to you, and, mm. and 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 of course the bar. And if St. John's isn't one of his yet, I'm I'm pretty sure. It, Probably will be in a while, in, yeah. In the, in, the, in the near future. Um, look, tell us about your family and please introduce your wife and your children to, to us. Yep. Um, so I'm married to Joe. Um, we met, we were, well, Joe's, Joe's originally English, but we met here in New Zealand. Um, she had separately moved to New Zealand and we were working together. Um, so we will be married for 16 years in December. We We actually... Uh, we got married on New Year's Eve. Um, that was because we had friends getting married uh, a week after. So we sort of trying to fit everything in. Um, so this does mean we, we often defer our wedding anniversary uh, celebrations and, and, and so on. It's a funny day to have for your wedding anniversary. But yeah, so that'll be 16 years at the end of this year. And I actually had another um, streamer um, for my best man, Julian McKenzie. Um, so he's also... Uh, godfather to to our boy so we have two children um so we have tom who's 13 he's in year nine at onslow college um and imogen who's 10 and she's in year six at uh, crofton downs primary school uh, oh, wow. so joe and i so tom was born over in england um and so we had to go to new zealand house and get him registered as a new zealand citizen and all that stuff and then Imogen was was born here in Wellington, and so yeah, so so we live in the um, in, in Johnsonville. We've we've been there uh, for about a bit over ten years since we um, moved back to, to New Zealand from the UK. Oh well, wonderful, wonderful to hear about your family. Congratulations on many years of of marriage, and lovely of you to oh, mention no. um, yeah. Julian McKenzie. I remember him well. Loved his cricket, and if you're in touch with Julian, give him give him our best. Um, well, I, I, was, I was thinking I must add Julian to your details, but just yep. very briefly, if I'm allowed to talk about someone else. So he has been, because uh, obviously he studied French. Um, so he has been working with French companies for quite a while. AXA, the big uh, French financial services company. Uh, so he at the moment is their number two man in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, so he, we, we, we were talking late last year, it's sort of been, uh, stuck a little bit because um, normally these big corporates they move people around every two or three years um, but because of COVID yeah it's like musical chairs the, the music has stopped but uh, Julian's married to a really nice uh, French Lebanese lady called Sabine and uh, they've got three daughters so you know so, so he's, uh, he's he's done very well there and yeah he's um, he's, he's very happy with things as well and I'll uh, um, hook up his uh, his email address so, so you can add that to, to the yeah, group as well. Yeah, please, please do. Wonderful to hear because, yep, I'd love to catch up with um, uh, Julian. That'd be awesome. All right. 
here's a big one for you. Um, look, memory, a particular memory for you at Silver Stream that you're sort of, is there something that you've got there, Chris, that you, you know, you've know you always thought of and has been with you the, all this time? Some of the guys have struggled, some have many memories, of course, but is there one thing in particular of your time at Stream that you can share with, with us, with, with the rest of the guys? Well, um, if I can tell a story against myself, um, I remember, um, I think it would have been when we were in seventh form, um, they had some uh, fundraisers where uh, parents could come along to the school and uh, they're sort of having a concert and the parents paid for tickets and so on. And my uh, parents came down from Taranaki with uh, friends of theirs, um, another couple, and it was, it was BYO. So my um, father was, um, you know, so, so my father and his friend, Fizz Brian, um, happened to be in a bottle store and they're sort of looking around and, and um, I, I recall saying, oh, for goodness sake, the, ch the chill is over there. And it was only afterwards that I'm like, um, how did you happen to know where the chiller was in that bottle store that you have apparently never been in before? <laughs> And so, so a bit of it, but no, so lots, lots, lots of, lots, lots of nice memories. But like I said, I, I mean, I, I do think as a group, um, you know, people have gone on to do all sorts of sort of uh, good and interesting things. And, and yeah, pe people just sort of seem to be doing pretty good things and, and being, um, um, you know, uh, pretty happy in their skins and uh, living good lives. And, and I, I think that's the uh, sort of thing the uh, staff of the college would be, uh, would be pleased with. Yeah, I, I agree. I absolutely agree. Now, do you keep in touch, apart from Julian, who you've just mentioned, do you keep in touch with anyone else from our year group? Um, well, well, I haven't. Yeah, I mean, probably as, as a result of going to Vic and so on, I've sort of not been in touch with that many people. Um, another one was Dan Boyle, if you remember Deputy Dan. Um, so he's over in the UK. So I've seen him a couple of times when he's been over here in New Zealand. But um no, so otherwise, so, so I've, 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 I've not really. So, so this is why I think the, um, the Facebook group and so on, and just sort of seeing the pictures that people have been posting and and so on, and obviously these videos that you're doing have been uh, have been really good. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Now, you know we've got this dinner coming up at the end of this. Mm. What are the chances of um, getting you out there? Yeah, well, I, I I hope to do that. I ha I haven't confirmed yet, but I hope to do that. And um, yeah, I'd be quite keen just to. Uh, um, hopefully sort of see a few of the guys and, and say hello, it'll be, it'll be nice Well please let me know because we'd love to see you, um, the numbers are getting up there but I'm sure we can um, squeeze Chris Holland in because uh, you know, the guys would love to catch up with you. Well look Chris um, look I've got the fondest memories of you um, you're very, you're pretty much exactly the same, uh, you look good, you sound good and, well, um, I, well I was going to say I'm carrying a bit, carrying a bit more timber <laughs> a bit more timber but look we're very proud of you mate of, of what you've done you're just a or you're just a good guy um and, and we're very uh, lucky to have you um within our year group so look have you got a final message to the guys that'll be watching this video tonight well i hadn't i uh i suppose i'd i'd i'd, I'd just like to say um you know uh i i hope everyone is uh you know living a good life and doing good things and uh yeah, from from what I've seen, um, it's 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 been really good uh, seeing people, and uh, I hope to be able to uh, see people later this month. Well, there you go, uh, fellow classmates, the one and only Chris Holland. Um, we hope to catch up with him. Um, it's only a few weeks away now, but Chris, yeah, yeah, thanks very much for joining us, and uh, I hope you get to get home soon. And um, yeah, I might some, knock, I might knock dinner. off now, but 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 thank you very much. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll see about dinner. Yeah, no worries. Take care, Chris. Thank you. Okay, see ya.